You're weird. Wait a minute. Hold on. Do you think I actually care? <laughs> When the moon is in Aquarius, this gives one a cosmic soul, okay? I want you to think about the timing that it took me to record moon from Aries to Capricorn and then moon in Aquarius. Moon in Capricorn and moon in Sag took me a little while, but not too long from moon in Scorpio, but they were all like around the same area. And then it took me a huge gap to finally get to Moon in Aquarius. This is the gap between Moon in Pisces, Moon in Aquarius, and the rest of the Moon signs. When we even just look at the zodiac energies in general, we are talking about a whole new level, a whole upper echelon. If you have an Aquarius Moon, you have a supreme soul. Your soul bears the essence of omniscience expressed through clear cognizance and as such you really will just be receptive to the knowledge around you this is very important because this is not sun in aquarius sun in aquarius gives one an awareness of knowledge in the sense with which they can deduce information and facts so quickly people think it's psychic ability when they're just super genius. Moon in Aquarius has this same genius element to them too, but many of, and most of this experience is unconscious, which means unless they have other energies in their charts that supplement this, like maybe Sun, Mercury, or Mars in such a sign, they're not always gonna be aware of why they know certain things, why they know you farted before they came into the room even though if you were the only one in the room and it smelled, obviously that would logically deduce that it was you, but if it was other people, they could single you out because they're psychic like that. But is this really psychic ability? No, this is actually a cosmic essence of supernatural quality, which is why, ultimately, I wanted to take this long to put this out. Um, a lot of what really took its time was a lot of my procrastination, but I wanted to make sure I did this video right. And those people who have a moon in Aquarius have a soul of steel, in a sense. They cannot not detach because the way they emotionally cope with traumatic experiences is by detaching and gaining an objective understanding. And this could screw up water signs with this because they're so used to wanting to emote. The moon in Aquarius does everything it can to not do so. And common misconception, this can make one feel that the moon in Aquarius is not emotional when they are emotional by detaching from their emotions. It's weird, but that's what Aquarius is. It's weird. The moon in Aquarius is an alien within, an extra dimensional being that is both here and outside of this cosmic plane at the same time. Something similar with Pisces, except in the case of Moon and Pisces, we're talking about multiple worlds instead of a fixed this and that polarity. Because remember, duality is instituted by Gemini. And who created Gemini? Aquarius. It's the fifth house of Aqua. But other than that, having the knowledge that allows you to know beyond dual constructs at an internal sense allows these people to receive nuggets of knowledge and wisdom relevant to their situation. Something that if you're an Aries or a Taurus or even a Gemini and Cancer with this could be quite fun, but also 
quite frustrating because you're not always going to be aware about why you know. Something that is Sagittarius with this won't have that much of an issue because they can see what they know. Okay, but other than that, uh, Moon in Aqua is one of the most extraordinary placements. If you have this moon placement, you have to be snobbish. Like, Leo is the diva, but Aquarius is the hipster snob. And you have to be the hipster snob because, like, you have such an imperial, superior soul. Now, this isn't saying that you have to have a god complex or a superiority complex, but if you do, hey, who cares? But it is saying that you want to feel this air of superiority because it's, it's, it's an attainment to have this moon. Not anyone can just deal with this moon. There is a sensitivity to pain that doesn't really exist as much because you can blank out any feelings you have and it helps build so much strength. As such, some of the strongest people have Moon in Aquarius. And that has a lot to do with their ability not to just escape into their head like Moon in Libras and Moon in Geminis might, but to be able to just feel the intensity of pain, especially Moon in Aquas that square Pluto and Scorpio, Jesus Christ. This is so much more extra dimensional than I can say, especially bridging the influence of Uranus. And as such, people with Uranus and Moon in Aquarius are some of the most extra dimensionally supernatural people there are. But one of the things that I wanna really bring to your um, focus, I have a Moon in Capricorn. And there is a supernatural quality to it, but it's really more psychically powerful. Moon in Aquarius is supernatural. It is not very understood of an energy, Aquarius period. But adding the moon here, what it has over the sun is that now it's going to attract certain understandings to you without you having to do anything. This same moon in Aquarius placement will also give the ability for flawless high level telepathy that puts Professor X to shame. And a lot of this has much to do with connecting your soul to the astral and cosmic plane, giving you a special level of cosmic awareness. It is not really cosmic awareness. Sun in Aquarius's superpower is cosmic awareness being aware of the cosmos outside of just this geoterrestrial organism. Moon in Aquarius allows you to supernaturally feel in to events that are happening in other galaxies. And this is why this can be really difficult. A moon in Aquarius isn't ever really here, but they don't escape like Moon and Pisces. Moon and Pisces isn't here because they escaped. Like they're not even paying attention to you talk, like they could hear you, but they're talking to like Chinese imps and dwarfs in the 15th dimension. Moon and Aquarius is not here because their soul is so exalted. So like a portion of their soul is holding space, literally, in space, while they physically have to be here, and that could be very uncomfortable, they could be very misunderstood, and they could be very weird because they need eccentricity. The moon in Aquarius was conditioned by their mother to stand out. Whether that was in a case where everything they did eccentrically was shamed by their mom, especially if they have a square, or it was encouraged, okay? It doesn't have to be solely encouraged. Being shamed for being eccentric could have conditioned the child to, to want to stand out even more because they'd never been accepted, or their mother was also super weird. <laughs> Their mother was their outlet of where they could just like do the craziest things. Their mother might have actually been crazy to a degree, but every nurturing influence of the moon in Aquarius, whether bad or good, was and is a genius. And just because there was a genius element to it doesn't mean it's a good thing. But this is what fostered the moon in Aquarius to now take this unique approach to life. But I'm really saying a lot of this uh, on the surface, it's way deeper than that, folks. If you have a moon in Aquarius, you are a part of an amazing soul group that is going to push boundaries because your ability to know is very much so influenced by the sacred nature of the moon, the high priestess, that will now add a psychic intuitive element to knowledge as opposed to other Aquarius placements that just give you the knowledge, which is already supreme in of itself. In that sense, you're able to synthesize and blend fantasy elements 
of what's real with knowledge, giving you a spiritual realm understanding. I literally just made that phrase and term up. Um, and really helping you, even in some cases, understand the abstract. In that case, Moon and Aquarians make excellent magicians, but not in the traditional way that mutable signs do. It's definitely in a roundabout, unique way that is only unique to them. Another thing that's important to know, no Moon and Aquarius is the same. Every single, just like everybody, is unique. Moon and Aquarius is especially are going to be super unique. I'm biased because of my placements, but I've never met a Moon in Aquarius that I didn't really like. They're really cool. They're really cool. They, they can definitely understand facets of people because they naturally think outside the box. Only thing that I would say be careful about Moon in Aquarius is that you don't get stuck with this fixed sign energy in, in overthinking patterns that take into account the consequences of knowing too much. Because if there's anyone that can know too much, it is you. And it's not like the Sun in Aquarius energy where you can know at once. It's going to build up depending on who is in your energy sphere and depending on, or who, depending on who is around you and depending on how receptive you are to people. Sarah, I know, I know. This is really horrible to you, and I see you're crying your eyes out, but I just need you to detach a little bit. Take an outside objective, outside the situation. I want you to just see this as it is, without letting your emotions get so wrapped in, you start to act a bit irrational. You're better than this, and I know you can do this. I totally agree. They didn't have to treat you that way. But if you really need venting, I'm here to listen to you. Wait, 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 I'll let you finish first, but I just need to let you know, these people have no idea what they're talking about. They don't know anything. Seriously, I'm tired of people coming up to me telling me stupid ideas and opinions that don't even have any basis in reality whatsoever. Are you crying? Hold on, hold on, hold on, why are you crying? What, 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 what does what you're going through have to do with anything that I'm saying? Do you even know what you're crying about? Because this moon in Aquarius, similar to moon in Scorpio, has you tune into people, and where moon in Scorpio can take secrets about people, moon in Aquarius can just know things. And in most cases, without really knowing why you know, especially if you're Pisces with this, which could be, you know, anywhere from like divinely amazing to just terrifying. So keep that in mind. Uh, moon and aquas have terrifying accuracy when it comes to really just understanding why certain things happen and how certain things occur. This is not magic. It is supernatural, but it's not really magic as much as it is a supernatural deduction of information that happens almost instantly because you're dealing with lightning quick speed. Other than that, uh, I hope you enjoyed this report. If you ever see an Aquarius moon musing to themselves, they're communicating with aliens. And until next time.